morning. Welcome to MTH News. I am Subhash Prabha Bajacharya. Let's begin with the top stories. Prime Minister Daha gains vote of confidence amid NC's protest. Sirhoya in Dhanusha police custody ready to be produced in court. Iranian President Ibrahim Raisi dies in a helicopter crash. Sandeep Lamechane cleared to play in T20 World Cup. Now, the news in details. Prime Minister Pushpa Kamal Dahal has obtained a vote of confidence from the parliament. This is the fourth time he sought a vote of confidence in the House of Representatives since he assumed office in December 2022. In the second meeting of the Royal Over House today, the Prime Minister presented the proposal seeking the vote of confidence amidst the protests and slogans from the major opposition Nepali Congress. Lawmakers representing other opposition parties also expressed their dissents by standing from their seats during the proceedings. With the proposal put forth by Speaker Devraj Kimire before the meeting for a decision received 157 votes in favour and none against the proposal, while one chose to remain neutral. According to Speaker Kimire, 158 lawmakers took part in the vote of confidence procedure. The NC lawmakers picked the well-chanting slogans against the procedures to present the Prime Minister's proposal to obtain the vote of confidence. The Speaker permitted the Prime Minister to table the motion seeking confidence. The major opposition has been obstructingly parliamentary proceedings demanding the establishment of a parliamentary committee to impartially investigate the alleged involvement of the Deputy Prime Minister and Minister for Home Affairs in the misappropriation of cooperative funds. The chairperson of Kantipur Media Group, Kaila Sirhoya, who was arrested on charges of dual citizenship, was brought to Dhanusha this morning. Now, Sirhoya is in Dhanusha police custody. According to DSP Ranjan Awa, police spokesperson of District Police Office Dhanusha, they are preparing to produce him in District Court Dhanusha today. On April 28th, Indrajit Mahatu of Sarlahi filed a complaint against Sirhoya at the District Police Office, Tanusha, for misusing citizenship. Based on the complaint, the District Court permitted to arrest him on Tuesday. On Tuesday, Sirhoya was arrested by the team of the Kathmandu Valley Crime Investigation Office from the Kantipur Office in Thapathali. According to the Citizenship Act 2006, Sirhoya has been reported to the police for using different citizenship numbers. And with this, we take a short break. We will be back. Do stay with us. Again, you're watching MTH News. Let us switch to the international sphere now. In this international headline, Iran's President Ibrahim Raisi and Foreign Minister Hossein Amir Abdullahin died in a helicopter crash. Their condition following the crash on Sunday was initially unknown. According to Reuters, quoting an Iranian official, the helicopter was completely burnt in the accident. Rescue workers reached the scene on Monday morning. The weather at the accident site was very poor, making it extremely difficult for the rescue team to reach the spot. Turkey sent a drone to locate President Raisi's helicopter. The Turkish news agency Anadolu published a picture of a significant heat source found in the area. Iran was informed about this information received from Turkey. President Raisi, Foreign Minister Amir Abdullahin, the governor of Iran's eastern Azerbaijan province, Malik Rahmati, the pilot, security chief and crew members were on board the crashed helicopter. President Raisi had traveled to Azerbaijan to inaugurate the Kalasi and Kodafarin dams. Immediately after the inauguration, he headed towards the city of Tabriz. 
the helicopter crashed en route to Tabriz, the capital of Iran's eastern Azerbaijan province. The BBC reported that visibility at the crash site was very low. Rescue efforts were hampered by thick fog and poor visibility. Various countries showed interest in assisting with the rescue. According to the Russian state media, a team of 47 experts and a helicopter were dispatched to help. The UAE also offered some assistance. Some Iranians are raising questions on social media about how the other two helicopters in the convoy arrived safely while Racy's helicopter crashed. Now let's move towards the sports news. Nepalese cricket sensation Sandeep Lamichane has been granted clearance to participate in the upcoming T20 World Cup after being acquitted of all charges in a high-profile rape case that had cast a shadow over his career and personal life. The 23-year-old leg spinner's journey to the T20 World Cup has been fraught with uncertainty and legal challenges following allegations of sexual assault leveled against him earlier this year. Lamichane, who had vehemently denied the accusations, from the outset found himself embroiled in a legal battle that threatened to derail his aspiration of representing his country on the international stage. However, the clouds of uncertainty have now lifted for Lamichane as the court verdict, verdict has exonerated him of any wrongdoing in the case, paving the way for his inclusion in Nepal's squad for the prestigious T20 tournament. The ruling marks a significant milestone in Lamichani's career, allowing him to focus once again on his passion for cricket and fulfill his dreams of competing at the highest level. In a statement released shortly after the court's decision, Lamichani expressed his relief and gratitude to those who stood by him during the tumultuous period. The news of Lamichane's acquittal has been met with a mixture of jubilation and relief among cricket enthusiasts and supporters who had eagerly awaited a resolution to the legal proceedings. With his innocence now established, Lamichane's focus can shift back to his cricketing endeavours as he prepares to represent Nepal on the global stage in the T20 World Cup. Lamichani's inclusion in Nepal's squad for the T20 World Cup is expected to inject a fresh sense of optimism and confidence into the team as they aim to mark on the global cricketing landscape. Renowned for his talents and skill with the ball, Lamichani's presence is set to bolster Nepal's bowling attack and provide a crucial edge in their quest for success in the tournament. As the cricketing world gears up for the spectacles of the T20 World Cup, all eyes will be on Sandeep Lamichani as he seeks to showcase his pros on the field and leave behind the trails of his past. With the support of his fans and the backing of his teammates, Lamichani is poised to make a memorable impact in the tournament and reaffirm his status as one of Nepal's brightest cricketing talents. With these news, we have come to the end of this bulletin and before we wrap up the headlines once again. Prime Minister Daha gains vote of confidence amid NC's protest. Sirhoya in Panusha police custody ready to be produced in court. Iranian President Ibrahim Raisi dies in helicopter crash. Sandeep Lamichani cleared to play in T20 World Cup. Now, it's time to say goodbye. We will be back with another English news edition of MTH News at 12 noon. Till then, keep watching MTH channel. Have a great time. Namaste.